need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can use the field list pane that appears at the right side of the application window to modify the fields that appear within a selected report chart. At the top of the field list pane, you can first select either the tasks or resources hyperlinks to use as the source of data for the selected chart. You can then use the Select Category dropdown to select a category of field data to display within the chart for either the tasks or the resources that are selected above. In the actual Select Fields pane that appears below that, you can then choose the values that will be displayed for the selected category fields. You can click the right pointing arrows next to each category to collapse and expand the fields that are shown. You can check the checkbox next to the name of any field to plot its values within the selected chart. You can uncheck a checkbox next to a field to remove it from being plotted within the chart. Note that the names of the selected field values that are being shown will appear in a listing at the bottom of the Select Fields section. At the bottom of the Field List Task pane, you will see any sorting and grouping options for the selected categories above. You can make a choice from the Filter drop-down to apply a filter to the selected task or resource fields. You can use the Group By drop-down to create a grouping of those fields by type if desired. You can use the Outline Level drop-down to select which level of detail of tasks you wish to show in the chart. You can check the Show Hierarchy checkbox to display the hierarchy of tasks within the chart categories if desired. You can use the Sort By drop-down to select a sorting order of the data shown within the chart. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.